production of a CG animated series typically requires large teams, expensive render times, and time-consuming visualization and animation processes, a very challenging situation for any studio trying to meet ever-increasing demand for content in today's market. The industry standard linear production model has so many steps in the chain that directors often have to wait months to see if an idea in their storyboard will work once animated, textured, lit, and rendered. Here, everything flows in one direction and understandably means that making changes downstream is a destructive process resulting in the undoing and redoing of earlier work causing a domino effect back downstream again. Such a traditional approach seldom affords creators the opportunity to improvise or experiment on the fly. The phrase fix it in post often comes with a heavy price tag. For this year's IBC Accelerator program, we wanted to challenge those norms and see if harnessing recent advances in XR and real-time tech could lead to an alternative methodology. For our project, most of the pre-visualization assets were created with Tavori and Masterpiece Studio using the MetaQuest 2 VR headset. These are high-performing, VR-first creative applications made for professional 3D production. Compared to traditional 3D modeling software, sculpting characters in Masterpiece Studio Pro feels like a natural extension of drawing. Working in VR gives you a better understanding of the 3D form because you're immersed in the same virtual space as your creation. Hand tracking in true 3D space also offers way more nuance for an artist than a flat screen interface. VR sculpting is particularly powerful for organic forms and creating expressive shapes in 3D. Mind you, the immersive grid and alignment tools in Masterpiece Studio Pro can be just as effective for modeling machined parts. The character sculpts were then optimized and rigged for movement, again working immersively end-to-end -end in Masterpiece Studio Pro, made this process less technically demanding and more creatively intuitive. Tavori is by far the best VR software for posing and animating 3D characters. You get to interact directly with the model, very similar to a stop-motion animator's process, but with the fallback of a digital workflow. Tavori's interface is a delightful way to create scene layouts, not to mention playful. Grab, place, stack, rearrange, recolor, resize and reshape, all very intuitive with direct control of the objects inside VR. This reminded me that creativity isn't about working for a living, but it's really about playing for a living. I have no doubt that such playfulness in the creative process adds to the energy in the content itself. Pre-production is all about exploration and iteration. The more you can explore and iterate, the better prepared you are for production down the line. Masterpiece and Tavori are made with the real-time engine Unity. Working in real-time was key to our faster iteration cycles. And as both apps are designed for professional use, the compatibility with industry tools like Maya and Painter made it easy to create relatively advanced pre viz at uh, lightning speed. Creating organic forms quickly is a real advantage of sculpting in VR, freeing up time to explore textures and shaders. Uh, for example, for this character, a seal pup made out of a putty eraser. The right combination of professional VR tools with traditional ones really opened up our capabilities in look development. We're seeing that the creative process you adopt is instrumental to achieving your intended design and ultimately the feel of the IP, the property that you're developing. The lead character, Artina, was modeled and textured in about an hour. This was our first render test. Pretty advanced for a previous asset. The addition of NVIDIA Omniverse took this workflow to another level by supercharging real-time collaboration with real-time rendering. These frames are from a few cycles on in our look dev process, rendered via Omniverse using the same previous assets and entirely in real time. So essentially we're completely cutting out render farms and achieving visuals that are pretty much near broadcast quality. Noidum is a company that's about uh, five, six years old. Uh, we started off actually as a Kickstarter campaign uh, and the aim for Noidum was to, to deliver a, an affordable motion capture solution for uh, VFX and, and game designers. Uh, Unreal and, and, and Unity are kind of at the heart of our, of our 
production. We have our own software that analyzes the, the hardware, the, the 17 points of the body, and even the hybrid uh, prop sensors that we use for, for you know, tracking cameras and, and props and things like that. But, you know, you can have a really great tracking solution and you can have a really great uh, engine that's made for video games. But when you put those together, you get an absolute, an amazing filmmaking tool that, the, that gives you real time feedback that you can say, hey, performer, I need you to do this better. I need you to do this in this other way. Um, and it, it pretty much gets you to 80% of what your final picture is going to be today. And then you can spend the rest of your production time getting that 20%, right? So if you think of traditional animation pipelines, you either have a hand, hand driven solution, either w whether it's uh, drawing or even uh, 3D animating, you have a very manual process that takes months to, to even get a, a, a daily of, of what something's going to look like. And then you realize, oh, it's not exactly what I wanted. And even traditional VFX pipelines is the same. You have on-set production, you have uh, VFX houses doing some of the work, and then a few months later, you get an idea of what the image is gonna look like. Uh, with real-time technology, you get to see it today. You get to have the pre-production team, the post-production team, and um, the, the on-set production team on that day, seeing exactly what the final picture is gonna look like. Uh, and, and gives directors that creativity to really see how it's going to turn out and if we're headed in the right direction, if we need to make changes now instead of waiting till the picture is almost done. So as a, as a producer, somebody who's putting the money in to, to make these productions, I, I would love that, right? I am the lead technical animator at Noidom. My role in this project has been to adapt each character for real-time performance for our virtual production pipeline. I have worked with uh, traditional and contemporary character creation pipelines during this project. I have adapted the optimized characters provided by Rafi that we're creating using Masterpiece. So for each character, as you see different pieces right now, I've had, I've had to create uh, modular rigs needed in a flexible real-time production pipeline in case we need to modify anything in the process. This process will enhance the performance of the character during our motion capture system. I've also used a combination of Blender and Maya to create facial expressions to have more custom and expressive facial character performance. You know, the promise of virtual production is to provide the immediacy of onset live action production with the flexibility of an all-digital production. Neutom's hardware and software provided rock-solid performance capture and adapted brilliantly to the varied characters in this animated series. The most interesting part that I found through this production is there's actually a challenge that you you started you, you gave us when we started this whole journey, uh, which was finding more uh, alternative ways of using the mocap data uh, to drive characters differently. So um, where traditional performance capture is designed for facial animation for humans and, and regular people with flesh and, and things like that, those pipelines are not very uh, flexible to characters that are super animated. So I think over this journey, one of the, 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 the most exciting challenges has been um, using, utilizing the tools that are meant to, to record the human body and translating that into a more stylized uh, appearance, similar to what we saw with Artina and and some of the other characters. So that, to me, that's been the most exciting part, uh, uh, literally translating the human motion into a more artistic expression. The deep integration between Neutom VPS and Unreal was the backbone. It took us from staging to rehearsals, to editing takes and scenes in Unreal Sequencer, and finally, the renders. Once again, NVIDIA Omniverse brought a layer of real-time collaboration between apps and real-time RTX rendering, which elevated our capabilities even further. Progress was tracked with Anchor Point, including version control and asset management via a creator-friendly visual feedback system. It's hard enough being creative, but then if you have a lot of technology getting in the way of you using your creativity, that becomes extra challenging for any kind of production. So my, my goal for the last year and a half with Noidem has been in improving that and focusing on, on the user side and how to make things more accessible for, for everybody. And, you know, as Rock mentioned in the past, Noidem has always been ex about accessibility. And in the past, a, a lot of the focus has been on price and, and, and making something really accessible to markets that have never had or would be, would be, be able to have any access to motion capture. My goal has basically been developing the different uh, virtual production pipelines within uh, Noidum and, and, and looking at the industry as a whole and, and finding ways to, to make life easier for creatives. We're making animated content production more nimble, versatile and collaborative by leveraging XR, real-time and performance capture. 
We've learned that a pipeline model like this really enhances spontaneity and collaboration throughout the production process and opens the door for visual artists, performers and directors of all disciplines to enter the animation paradigm in ways not possible before. Thank you. Thank you.